أصحاب السعادة يا أصدقاء الأعزاء السلام عليكم لو تسمحوا لي راح ألقي كلمة باللغة الإنجليزية حتى راح يكون مفهومة للكل ما أريد أن أكرر كثيرا وأنا يعني مؤيد لكل ما ألقوا الكلمات قبلي بس أود أن أقول أن الاتحاد الروسي والاتحاد السوفيتي سابقا كان دائما يقف مع الشعب الفلسطيني وكان تؤيد تحقيق كل مساعي الشعب الفلسطيني فلو بالانجليزي انا اقدر اقول ان we are deeply concerned about the decision which was announced yesterday today the russian parliament lawmakers have called this decision a very dangerous one. The move that could cause a wave of painful aftershocks in the international politics. The storm of the Middle East peace process has created conditions for such moves. These moves that undermine the potential for an internationally accepted solution to the Palestinian problem the solution of two independent states, the solution which the Russian Federation fully supported and did a lot to make this solution possible. The Russian position on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is well known and doesn't need any further detailization. In this regard, we reaffirm our commitment to all UN-approved principles for the Palestinian-Israeli settlement. I want to say that the Russian Federation was one of the first countries in the world which recognized the Palestinian state and opened its embassy in our capital in Moscow. The exact parameters of the solution for the entire range of issues regarding the status of Palestinian territories, including Jerusalem, should be coordinated at the direct talks between all the involved parties. Using its opportunities as a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council, as a co-sponsor of the peace uh, process, and as an active member of Middle East Quartet, Russia will continue to provide assistance to the achievement of the Israeli-Palestinian agreements. Of course, no doubt, we will focus on ensuring free access to Jerusalem holy places for all believers. I don't know if it's true, but just before I came here, I read in the newspapers, this is not confirmed information, but that this decision of the American president yesterday was today suspended for six months. I, Thank you. I wish this information will get soon confirmation. But if it's not, if it's not, I can only express my personal hope and the hope of my country that the American leadership will have the wisdom and patience not to take hasty steps, which can lead the whole international community to a new disaster to a new disaster not only for Palestinian people and the Arab countries, but to the whole Middle East region. Thank you very much.